Hey what's up Musers, this is John at muse for you and in today's video tutorial I'm going to go over the new feature that came out with the Adobe Muse update, the 2015 update that came out on uh, yeah June 15th, 2015 and the new feature is called Auto Lightbox uh, and this solves a lot of issues with let's say getting like a subscription based pop-up on your website. If you've ever been, you know, I'm sure you've seen it where you've been to a website and you go to the website and you see kind of like a a subscription pop up that says you know sign up for our newsletter and receive x x and x uh, for signing up uh, to our newsletter or it could be some type of deal that they're offering at the time uh, now with adobe muse you can easily do this and you can style that pop up uh, or that light box display uh, any way you'd like so that it matches your website and it it just looks really good so when the user first goes to your website they can have a nice pop-up that says hey if you sign up you'll get this this and this or you know you can offer the latest deal that you might be offering or um, yeah any website might be offering so if I preview this in the browser if I hit command shift E to preview this in the browser and I'm using the repos theme from muse themes I'll just click OK here um, and here it says subscribe to our newsletter receive news and updates on our latest products and then the user can put in their email here and subscribe this subscription form is from uh, from excuse me from mailchimp.com and if I click the X here this X I got for excuse me uh, let me refresh one more time yeah there we go and this X here I got from the muse for shop.com SVG icon pack you can actually place any icon you'd like for the X and the user can simply click the X to get out of out of the light box, or they can click outside of the box and it'll take them outside of the, of this light box here. So it's a really cool way to to uh, to offer something right away to your viewers, and it's not like a pop up from like you know an ad or anything because it's directly from your website. The web designer or developer integrated this into the website, so it's not like some. Uh, something from some other website like this can integrate into your website to offer some type of offering to your uh, viewers and visitors to your website yeah so this X was from the thin and thick icon pack on reach for you shop.com and so in this video tutorial um, I'm gonna go over how to style this how to actually create it and yeah and how to change the X here you can put any icon you want here for the X and how to add the MailChimp form so this is what we'll be covering in this video tutorial, so let's begin. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close this website here. And I'm not going to save there. And I'm just going to open up a new instance of the Muse Themes Repos uh, theme here. I'll double click, and I'll double click on the Repos Adobe Muse file. And we'll just click OK and it's just updating some assets here okay and I'll double click on the home page and all we simply need to do to add that auto light box is go to object insert widget go to composition and go to light box display very good and I'll just click that in here and there's our light box display and we only need one light box we don't need three so we can just click on these target uh, these triggers here and click and delete them so now we just have one trigger and one light box display and if I click here and I'll click on the composition so that the whole composition is selected and I'll click on the composition options right up here by clicking the blue circle with the arrow and down here where it says parts I don't want the previous or next parts and I do want the close button so we'll leave that there and that's pretty much it and the last thing we'll do is um, this is actually you know probably the most important part is to click auto light box right here so that the the light box opens on page load so we'll click that and that's all we have to do for this composition and now what we what we need to do is style it so that it looks really nice on our website so to style it I'm going to click into the composition now this black area if we hit command shift E to preview in the browser and we can see that the light box is black I don't want any any color for the light box so we just click on this black area and click a few times until that black area is selected and then go to fill right up here and select none very good so now all we have is this light box area in here 
and I also don't want the caption down here so I can just click on it and delete it so we just have this box here uh, that's gonna show up when the page loads um, so this is what I want to fill in with either uh, text or you know my my MailChimp form or anything I want to put initially for that initial light box uh, on page load uh, so I'm going to change the colors this, to this as well. I'm going to click on it and go to fill, select the eyedropper tool, and sample this color here on the website. There was this kind of yellowish color. And I'm going to give it a border, a black border, and I'm going to say 5. So now there it is. And if I command shift E to preview this in the browser, click OK. And there's the light box. The X doesn't look very good, so we'll change that as well. So I'll just click here into the X, and I'll double click, because the X is just some text. So I'll double click, highlight it, and I'll go to my uh, Muse for You Thin and Thick icon pack, and I'll go to Glyphs, and I'll change it to this plus symbol here. And I'll make it a little bit bigger because it's an SVG icon pack. It works, and I've added it as a web font. It they're glyphs in Adobe Muse, and I can uh, treat them as text and change the the size simply by uh, changing the the size in the text area here. So that looks good. Now I want to rotate this so it looks like an X rather than um, yeah, rather than. Uh, a plus symbol so now it looks like an X and you can hold down shift to get exact you know angles you know so 45 90 135 180 2 1 you know minus 35 minus 90 minus 45 so holding down shift just gets you like uh, perfect angles in that sense 45 90 degrees angles so now it looks like an X and I don't want this gray area here in the background so I'm just gonna go to states make sure it's on normal go to fill and select none. I'll go to rollover and select none, mouse down, select none, active and select none. And then for the X here as well, I'm gonna highlight it again. Yeah, highlight it there and change the color to black. Again, because it's an SVG icon, I can change the color like I was changing text and change the size like I was changing text. And that is available at museforyoushop.com. Okay, so there's the X. And now I can put some text in here. So I'm gonna add some text. I'm gonna say subscribe to our newsletter. Get updates, get news and updates on our latest products. All right, very good. I'll highlight it, change the text to lot to light there and make it uh, that's too big. We'll make it uh, 48 or let's do 36. There we go. And I'll center it and perfect. Okay, so now I want to add the Mailchimp form. So I'm going to go to my Mailchimp Excuse me, I have it on caps lock. mailchimp.com and I'm going to log in. So now I'll go to my list right up here. And if you don't have a list, you can create a list by clicking here. And then I'll go to um, here to the down arrow next to stats and I'll go to sign up forms. And I'll just go to embedded forms and I'll go to super slim because I just need the email address and the subscribe button. And I don't need to include the form title. So just the email address and the subscribe button. And then I just copy and paste this code right in here. So I just copy this code, Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows. Then I go to Muse, I go to Object, Insert HTML, and I just click uh, Paste. And the only thing I need to change here, I'll click OK. And we can see we have the form here and I can make it a bit wider, like so. The only thing I need to change here is this white background. So to do that, I right click on this uh, HTML or this, um, yeah, this HTML. Uh, frame and click on edit HTML and then here I look for MC underscore embed underscore sign up and then background uh, colon and hampersand ampersand uh, no um, yeah that kind of uh, hashtag sign and FFF and I change that I delete the hashtag and the FFF and I just write transparent this way the MailChimp form doesn't have any color and it just matches the background color of um, this this uh, kind of yellowish color here. 
All right, very good. And I'll just center that. Looks good. Um, yeah, that looks good. So now if I hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser, click OK. There is our form. And you might notice there's this trigger right here. Uh, we don't want that to be viewable. So what we do is we'll just place that trigger like somewhere over here and we'll take off all the color. Um, so let me go to states and yeah, just go to states and make sure the color is none and that it has no border as well. And you want to go to the rollover state and the active state. The states uh, panel here shows you if it has any borders or any colors. All right, so now that trigger is transparent. Uh, nobody will notice it and it won't have any effect on this light box display. So if I hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser, click OK. And there it is. Subscribe to our newsletter. Get new, excuse me, let me just fix this real quick. Get news and updates. There we go. So one more time Command Shift E. Click OK. And yep, subscribe to our newsletter. Get news and updates on our latest products. They'll enter their email, click subscribe, and they'll subscribe to that list, that MailChimp list. And then they can click the X here if they want to X out, or they can click outside the box here. And I can place this X a little bit more kind of in there. So it looks a bit better. Click OK. And there it is. Awesome. So that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. I'll show you a quick overview of the Muse Themes repos theme that you can get at musethemes.com. You can just subscribe or uh, you can purchase it individually. Uh, but it's a very nice theme. And I'll just go to the different pages. It's very clean. Looks really good. There's a lot of interesting animations on it. It's a very, yeah, very clean site. Nice contact form down here and yeah it looks really great go back to the home page see we get to subscribe to our newsletter close that and awesome I think this new auto light box feature is just great for that idea of of having kind of a subscription pop-up or having an offering to your visitors and viewers when they come to your website okay so that's pretty much it for this video tutorial if you like this video tutorial you can subscribe below you'll get access to the Muse for you private community the Google Plus private community community and you'll get news and updates on new video tutorials that come out from the muse for you youtube channel uh, also visit museforyoushop.com i have uh yeah the video tutorials free resources uh animations that you can you can add to your adobe muse website uh, to add more branding and interest and i have svg icon sets uh, that you can purchase and add to adobe muse as a web font uh, so that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.